G'day everybody, welcome back to Reactive Gaming with Chris and James and welcome to the very first episode of Sons of the Forest Talk. We're going to be doing an episode, well hopefully doing an episode maybe one a week where we're going to be talking about Sons of the Forest, other games, other possibilities going into the future as well. Mr. James and I have now put a collective 4,000 hours into this game. Admittedly, majority of it is James. <laughs> Lucky him. <laughs> Lucky him. Yep. So we thought we're going to come on here, have a good chat to you good folk, and um, talk some Sons of the Forest. What can we say about Sons of the Forest, James? It's been a game that we've been playing for on and well, not on and off, constantly for a bit over a year now. Yeah, yeah. I, I got it um, two weeks after it, it um, was released for early release and haven't missed probably haven't missed more than two days on the game at one time uh you missed a week yes we did the week yes when i went away on my lovely cruise with my yep. lovely wife but um, other than that you haven't missed bugger no, all no and james has been a huge part of the channel since virtually the beginning what about 300 subscribers give or take yeah that was when i jumped on and, first um, met james through a comment funny yeah. enough yeah <laughs> Kept hounding yeah. me to get Red Mod Manager. You could get yep. rid of the building animations. I don't know how many times you messaged me that yeah. in the yeah. comments. And finally, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to take it on board because I was going to fob them off. That's that's the honest truth. Yeah. I was going to fob them off and just keep doing what I'm doing. Started yep. the Discord channel. He came into it. We had a good chat. Got along pretty much instantly, eh, James? Yep. It was and like... It was like, like as, it was like meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meant to be. But yeah, ever since then, we've pretty much just been playing every single day and enjoying every minute of it. Yep. We do have our occasional disagreements, mainly because... Um, I blow up trees. No, not even that. It's just... I'm a very... I wouldn't say pedantic, but... I have a way of doing things and, hmm. you know... It, <sighs> It's a bit of a like a, a when you have a passion for something, right? And you you, you want, want it to be perfect. Way. You want it to be perfect. Yeah. And when it doesn't go the way I it, it goes, I kind of get a little bit annoyed. Yeah. But that's like probably everyone, you know. Anyone yeah. that's passionate about something, they yeah. So we thought, let's go. Let's do some videos on what we're what we're going to be doing in the future. You know, what sort of uh, content we want to start producing. And hopefully getting a little bit of feedback from everybody else. And at the moment, a lot of people are giving a lot of good suggestions, especially on other games that we might be looking into. Yep. The number one thing was Enshrouded. Yeah, yeah. Enshrouded was the biggest one to come on, and people would like to see us play it, which, you know, i got no problems with. But I think what James and I... I don't want to speak for you, James, but I think we're on the same page where it's we're, we're kind of comparing everything to Sons of the Forest. Yeah, that's that's the problem when you when I when I um was building on the first game, the Forest. I I uh, I enjoyed it. You could put down a put down a log, and that was it. You could start building from that log, and um. When Sons, when I heard Sons of Forest was coming, it, I sort of jumped on it because I knew it was going to be really good, but I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. I fell in love almost immediately yeah. playing this game. Like I, I like you, and probably a lot of other people out there. We we all started on the Forest originally. Yeah, and that was a really, really, really good game. And when I've never really played building games. Other than say, oh, I hate Age to admit of Empires? it, Age of Empires. I love that. I love that. that's my favorite part of the whole game is building. Mm. Um, I've played every single Age of Empires since the very beginning. I even have the latest one. I was actually quite curious to find out if people would like to see us make any videos on that, because admittedly, when when it first came out, the uh, the new was it number four, Age of Empires four. Yeah. When it yeah. first came out kind of embarrassed to say this but i've only played probably like two hours of it yeah I'm about that as well yeah only because sons of the forest yeah otherwise i would have been playing that pretty religiously if i didn't find this game hmm. but it was thanks to my mates that got me onto the forest originally which i was fully not against but i was kind of like eh 
you know, whatever. I'll give it a go. And that game was so good that I only played the original Forest for probably about two weeks before actually playing Sons of the Forest. Yeah. So at, at the time, I probably only had about, I want to say about 30 hours, give or take, yeah. on the original game. And now I'm a bit over 1,200 hours. James is on 2,800 or something like yeah, that. Yep. So, something crazy like that. But yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it's just it's just crazy how this game yeah. has sort of just changed a lot. It's it's like sometimes I feel like I'm a crackhead. <laughs> You're addicted to it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You're addicted to it. Well, so am I. I can't complain. The community in Sons of the Forest is phenomenal, mate. Yeah. It is phenomenal. I'm not just talking about the creators out there to make Sons of the Forest um, content, which, you know, a lot of them are awesome. They make some awesome content, but I'm talking about the people that actually like watch our channels. The the yeah. engagement from the community has been, mm. and the support from the community has been just nonstop positive. I have never, in my wildest dreams, thought I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Yeah, and it's going to go anywhere. People want to watch us um, play a game that we just like playing. I guess. Yeah. It's it's insane. I'm just so grateful to everybody. We just uh, we're just about to hit nine uh, nine thousand subscribers, Subscribe. yep. and this channel is only about five six, five, six months old. Yeah. And I reckon a big big chunk of that comes down to James as well. James has been it's, phenomenal. He's been such a good. It's the combo. I think it's the combo we we bring to each other. We we're like a house on fire, mate. Like yeah. we, we we get along so well with this game, and we basically know each other's moves before we've done it. Yeah. I'll start building. Ba James already start building something. It's exactly what I wanted, without me yeah. even knowing I wanted it. You know what I mean? That's how it. Yeah. That's how it works with us. And to find someone to really get along in a game with, and just have someone there to support you, has just been great. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I think I love Sons of the Forest. Probably the 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 game I love more than any other game, and I love. GTA 5 that was like before this game was my favourite game yeah other than uh, like Age of Empires yep. and stuff like that yeah 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 but um having somebody to play with um is is a big contributing factor if um, yeah if I didn't have people to play with I probably wouldn't be playing this game anymore yeah yeah not oh, because not, not because of the game not because of the game it's just because it just makes it more fun. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Just makes it more fun. And I guess that's why I personally still love watching other creators like Kills for Thrills and um, all yeah. that still make, well, not so much Kills for Thrills anymore because he stopped making content for the game. But when he did make it, yeah, it you know, worth. it was always a fun thing to watch. I just love people yeah. building stuff and just watch them commentating and talking about stuff and, you know, yeah. things like yeah. that. The, um, the one thing that I've doing more than what I've done with any other game before is creating a um, an atmosphere and a storyline to every build. Yeah, 100%. You have to have a theme. You have to know what you're going in with. Like James and I, before we start a build, we will sit down sometimes an entire night and we don't even get any building done. Well, yeah. we sort of talk about a build, you know, we kind of dick yeah. around a little bit. Talk about what we want to do for the next build. Yeah. And we get a bit of an idea, we throw some ideas, and the best idea obviously gets it. And that's sort of how our process goes when we go to building anything. Like yeah. this this build-off challenge, challenge sort of just came out of nowhere, eh? Yeah, it did. Yep, yep. We are building a um, ski resort, then it lagged out on us, and then we started oh, talking right. about, <laughs> why don't we do a challenge? Which yeah. is still not finished, by the way. We're still working on it. It's a work in progress. It's just... It's a lot of hours, a lot of time, yeah. and we want to get this one right. We want to get it down to the the very, very minimal detail. Uh, minimal is the right word. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll go with that. Go with the. Yeah. You know, we want to get the details down pat. We want to make it look good. We want good vibes. We want all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and it'll, and also it'll give you give the viewers more chance to jump over onto my side. <laughs> away from Chris's build. Uh, well, you know, you got to admit though, man. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah. to admit this is pretty sweet. The fact that we're sitting here in my living room right now, and 
I think there's a, a slight <laughs> bit of bias, you know, there. Yeah, I know. I know. We could do it at your build as well. <laughs> but there's no lights because we've turned them off. We had to turn them off, I otherwise this one, stops, <laughs> this one flickers like a Christmas tree. I didn't pay me bill. <laughs> I had to disconnect him. <laughs> I literally disconnected his power. <laughs> he flew over the mountain, turned yep. off all my lights. I had to. It was just causing too many problems here. So as soon as we go back over there, we're going to have to do the same here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Luckily, it's only one cable here, and it just shuts off all the power, which is good. It's easy to yeah. fix, and his is two, so yeah. nice and easy. Yeah, but so anyway, starting off this crazy. game, what's that? Sorry, it's a shame that we've had to go to the extent to um, to uh, to get two builds on one server. Oh, tell me about pull, it. To set up so we can just pull one lead as we're leaving one site to come to the next. I, I really, really didn't want to get into the negatives about this game because everyone, know, know. everyone knows there are negatives. We're yeah. no, we're not under any illusion, but we try to focus on the positives. When this game has a lot going for it, a lot of positive. From the very, very minute I started playing this game, admittedly, things got better and better as time went on with the new patch updates, and then with yeah. the final release, um, yeah. there was some positives and some negatives with the release. They took away a lot of stuff that we really liked, but they also brought in a lot of cool stuff as well. Yeah. You know, it's just one of those sort of things where we, when we first started playing the game, I know James got straight into the building aspect, but I actually played the game yeah, yeah. from the very, very beginning before stone was a thing, before any of that was a thing. And we used to just get on and go through caves and all that sort of stuff. And it was so much fun, so much fun. Like I could still do that right now if we wanted to yeah. i would go back and start it from the beginning i've finished the game i think three or four times now maybe yeah. even more who knows i don't even know anymore finished that many times i could go back and do it again that's how much i love this game yeah since i've been um before i jumped in with um uh reactive gaming i would not touch a a period wouldn't Pro go anywhere near it probably no need to at the time was there no, because all I was doing was building, and, and what I was building was, was good enough for me, and I was happy with everything like that, because I was only a, a single player then. Yeah. And how much um, better has the game been since you met me? Oh, well, I'm doing <laughs> multiplayer. I'm building <laughs> servers tenfold. I'm yeah. putting, you know, the big thing is um, putting our um, multiplayer bases up into our di the Discord for other people to enjoy yes that's another good thing you know it's it's just giving back and and um uh and but on the cave side of things now i'll i'll actually go into a cave because we've been doing caves a fair bit not a lot but a fair bit and i've I, i'm feeling all right to jump into one of those and I, i'll be able to enjoy it instead of get all um he say hyperventilating and, and crap like that. Yeah. Um, not knowing, because I've been trapped in caves for an hour and a half to two hours at one time. <laughs> and it's just, mm. yeah, because you don't want to turn the game off because there's no, you know, you've got to save and then turn the game off. And if you save inside there, you're going to come back there anyway. You know, so it's, but... um when they started putting the blueprints down, you know, the blueprints down there and all that sort of thing, mm. you come to the point where you, you had to. So you were looking for, you were watching, spending most of your time on YouTube. Yes. Looking Surfing for up. looking yeah. for where to find blueprints and... Yep, and all that sort of thing. It's, you know. Yeah, that's sort of where it all started for me as well. Yeah. It, I remember when I first started playing the game, I didn't know how to do any of this sort of stuff. I didn't yeah. know where to find certain stuff. And I would be frustrated when I couldn't find things. So I thought, why not start a channel and throw all this information out? Yeah. Like, I know we're probably not the best builders out there. I don't think we're anywhere near the best builders out there. Like, yeah, sure, we could do some cool shit every now and then. But I've seen some builds on some of the walkthroughs that we've done, James, and... Yeah, yeah. Mate, there's yeah. some talented people out there with some really, really awesome ideas. Yeah. And the fact yeah. that they put it together, like, the way they have is, yeah, it's something else. I really love doing the walkthroughs, the base tours and stuff like that with people's builds. Yeah, you... I yeah, really love... I always find something that I like out of it and I could use in, uh, in one of our servers, you yeah. know what I mean? And 
and it just goes on for the people watching the videos as well. Our videos, they can, they'll go, oh crap, that's awesome. So that's how you build it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You I, know, like, there wasn't many build videos out there when I first started. Yeah. There probably was a few, but they're all basic stuff, you know. And I find that we probably go a little bit too hard on some of the things that we build. Mm. As, as in, like, it's not easily replicated. Yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, if it was easily replicated, then what's the point of doing it? Mm. We, we try to do things that are a little bit above and beyond what should be possible in this game. Hence the big-ass opening that we have in this A-frame, four-way A-frame thing. Which one? The one right behind you. <laughs> I can't see no opening. Yeah, I know you can't. <laughs> but that's I'm the sort of stuff that we we thought it would be great to get onto, you know, onto video so people could enjoy to watch it as well. And Yeah, it's... Another another big change for us was uh, naturally me pushing Chris into um, Red Mod. Yeah. And, um, you know, like I... Fly Mode was a big a big changer for both of us. Um, I, I I sent him a message one time while he was at work and I said to him, I got something that's gonna blow your mind, it's gonna improve our <laughs> our building by tenfold. Oh, and yeah. um yeah, so I've come into come into the we've jumped onto the um onto the uh bridge build. Yes, that was when it all started, wasn't it? Yep. And yep. I've said, um, check this out. And he's just gone, what? <laughs> and I, I showed him how easy it was and all that sort of thing. He's just like, oh, I'm going to try that. And from that point on. That's where the bridge became. That's when yeah. the bridge became uh, a thing. Yeah. Because we didn't have to worry about running all this scaffolding up for yeah. us to personally walk up and fall down every time. Yeah. I thought, you know, th this opens up a whole world of possibilities You know, with the fly mode on Axel mod. The the silly part about it is I brought it out. I, I found this after the floating base was completed, which would have been nice because Chris spent most of his time falling off of the oh, scaffolding. Yeah, God. Yeah. Was, I remember that. That was, yeah, yeah, that's right. We did the floating structure, the, um, the platform yep. first, right? Mm. And we were pulling up scaffolding one by one, doing it that way. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Yeah. That's right. That's when that all started. That's yeah. insane. That wasn't even that long ago. When no, it, it was like probably what two months ago, if that. Yeah, yeah, about that. N not about even that. two months ago. I don't even know anymore. We we go through builds like we go through underwear. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm only don't do one a week. So. <laughs> You're doing more than that off camera. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. He does a lot of stuff when what you guys don't see. It's ridiculous. Oh, I spend a lot of time helping. Every Helping um, pot roast and Len and whoever pretty much. Yeah, a lot of people board. on the Discord, yeah. Yeah. James yeah. is the go to guy when I'm at work. He will be there to help everyone out. Mm. And um, I, I normally, um, if there's any issues, I'll um, pass it on to Chris and that, that sort of thing. But yeah, it's. Um, it's. The game is the game. It, my opinion, as I said, it's like crack. Yeah. One of the most pinnacle moments for me that in all the updates that we've had that changed the game for me so much as a builder I could be wrong for it, but for me was the day they introduced um, building the hip ends. The were, uh, angles yeah. on the roof? Yeah, angles yeah. on the roof. 100%. That, 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 was, that was when my whole building... Yeah. Changed. Oh, me too. And I think it was around then where I actually started. Oh, and I was. Ooh, was it then when we started the channel? I can't remember. It was around that time anyway. That yeah. would have been like early patches, like patch 10, patch 9. Yeah. Make but, something like that. I can't remember. But yeah, something like that. I remember that. That, that was a game changer when yeah. they added another ability to build different types of roofs. Yeah. Um. The valleys were a, a big thing. Yes. The valleys, it was just like, wow. You never could do, do that. Yeah. 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 Before um, you could, you, okay, so you could do that, but you'd have to jig the game where it yeah. doesn't like it. You know what I mean? You know, um, like, I watched people do it on YouTube when I first started yeah. playing, doing it, you know? 
people were using rope bridges or, or something to that to try and get a hip sort of going down the or something to that effect but um uh, what well, they call them the pyramids you, uh, you look at them and it was just all janky and crap like that and yeah. then all of a sudden they've they're just perfect now well they're they're very easy to make now aren't they yeah yeah very yeah. very easy to make you know one of the best things to come out of the 1.0 release honestly is probably creative mode yeah. uh the no longer needing animations is a really good one as well i found um, that was something you could only achieve with mods back in the day, and now it's a, it's native to the yeah. game, which is really yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, creative mode has probably been one of the biggest game changers for me, personally. The fact that I don't have to lay... Was it, uh... A full grid? Yeah, full grid of stone or logs. You could do that all in sort of one hit, which is a massive time saver. When you're building yeah. massive decks, that thing really matters. I remember doing it... Remember, James, when I first met you, I was doing the castle build. Yeah. And I was laying... Not just me, but a few other people like uh, Tim, Bree, um, Link. They're all getting on to give us a hand to lay this big mm. foundation for the castle build stone. Right now, this is one by one with full animations. Yep. And this yeah. is where you're just like, dude, you need to get onto Redmond Manager. Yeah. Get rid of this building thing. And yeah, that's where it all sort of began that. But yeah, oh, that's why I loved creative mode so much. Mm. It's, it's really just so much better. And since then, um, the biggest uh, and best change we've had since then to do with creative mode is that you can incorporate the custom mode using creative mode to allow yourself to have enemies on creative Yeah, it's just... Yeah, I'm pretty wow. sure someone told us that in the comments, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Didn't know you could yeah, do that. that. Was, Didn't know you could yeah. do that. So that was, yeah, that was a pretty good thing too. Yeah. It sort of brings you back to the game instead of playing. Don't take this the wrong way, mate, but Sims. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's there's a there's a, a hint of aggression coming at you, and you've got to worry about defences and all that sort of stuff. Um, Sims but, is different, though, dude. Sims is a different yeah, game to this. Yeah, I know yeah, it's yeah. I know it's it's building. A lot of it is about the building. Yeah. And like you pointed out uh, earlier today, it's more like architectural sort of builds. Yeah, yeah, like an architect program. Because it's gridded, right? Yeah. So you got your grid out, you can sort of work it from there. I don't know. Sims is not Sons of the Forest in any way, shape, or form. Mm. But Sims does have a quite a decent building aspect to it, and yeah. I like that. I'm a builder. I've always been a builder. I've mentioned this before. This is what I yeah. used to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I built my whole life. And not just in... I'm talking about real life building. I'm Like actual houses, not just in games. Mm. Building something I've always been passionate about, always loved doing. And to find a game, something like this, that yeah. allows you to sort of express yourself in a way where you could build virtually anything, it really will come down to your imagination, not so much the game limitations, because there's always a workaround. Yeah. If you can't do something, that just means you haven't done the right sequence. Yeah. You There's always a... Rule, yeah. yeah. You're either not thinking about it correctly or you're not placing it correctly. Yeah. There's always a way. There's a will. There's a way. I, the only thing I don't want to sort of... shouldn't say I don't want to get into, but I would really like to learn is probably a little bit more the circular builds. I was about to bring that up. I, I thought you might. <laughs> The circular builds are something I really want to start looking into, doing a little bit of research on, see how they work. But from what okay, I could gather, yeah. what I yeah. could gather, there's a lot of the, the circular builds, you can't actually use them as functional places yeah. because More you are like crossing grids. grids constantly. Yeah, yeah. You can't, say, for instance, build a circular gazebo and use it as a gazebo. Or maybe like you can. On, I don't know. But Like you could on um, the forest. On the forest, yeah, I know, right? You were saying that in one of the other episodes. Yeah. We... we we need to learn how to make that or wouldn't it be cool if you could build share that mm. you know what yeah. should we get someone to i don't have excuse me i don't have build share i could put it on we can yeah test it. like we got a we got a friend called um uh by the name of link he does a magic a magic gazebo but it's in two sections and yeah. uh blueprinting is impossible no is it 
it's impossible to do. Bugger. Because I tried it, believe you me, I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it, but it is a beautiful structure. Yeah, is, and yeah. Len's getting pretty creative with the circular builds too, isn't she? Yes, she is, she is, yes. Um, we spent, we did a, a two o'clock finish one one morning just trying to get halfway decent sort of scenario with it. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it did. You know what I need um, to do? What? I reckon we need to get either Rip Diesel or Davo to come on one day. Yeah. And get him to teach us. I, I learn better when I visually see it like in front of me, and if yeah. if I if I could do it myself, if someone directs me. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be cool if one of those two think, guys would be able to come on and give us a hand one day. Sounds like a plan. We should try to ask, see if they want to come on. Five dollar, five dollar. Because those guys do some phenomenal content as well. They do some tricky stuff. Yes. yes. They do some tricky stuff, and I love it. I love it. I'm scared to replicate it, but I love it. I love seeing it. Yeah, it's sort of like. Um, how the hell can you do that? Yeah. And you sort of look at it with squinting eyes trying to work out. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. You just don't know. You see yeah. it, but you still don't understand it. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, yeah. And I'm hoping there's a way you can do it without using Unity. Yeah. Because yeah. Unity... Is above our pay grade? It's <laughs> very yeah. complex by the looks of it from the, the brief yeah. snippet that I've seen of it. It looks very complex. But not saying I wouldn't try it one day. We should. Because mm. didn't they use Unity to build this game? I think they did. I I, I can't answer to that. I'm, no, I'm, neither uh, can I. Yeah. I'd only be speculating. Yeah. But I swear Unity had a big part. Uh, remember at the end scene when you were finishing the game and Unity yeah, was there? Yeah, Unity was there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if that had something to do with the game or not. I'm, I really couldn't tell you. But yeah... I don't know. That's one thing we should look into anyway. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. So how you feel? How are you feeling about the building thing at the moment? Building our our uh, current um our current builds. I'm not happy that we're competing. <laughs> not for any reason. Whether it's more, we're more of a team than a competitor. Yeah. We work better as a team than we do competing against each other. When yeah. we compete against each other, we still end up helping each other regardless. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it kind of defeats the purpose. In different location. That's exactly. So we're, we're both building together regardless. Yeah. The way we should have probably done it is I left you to your devices, you leave me to my devices. Um, yeah. That would have been probably the better way to do it, but I didn't want to miss out on what you were building at the same time for the video yeah. purposes. Yeah. That's yeah. the only reason I thought this might be the best way we could probably do it. Mm. If we missed out on the video, then I think a lot of people would be a little bit disappointed that we didn't record it, how you yeah. did it. Yeah. Um, oh, Which, yeah. I don't know. Oh, um, viewers. We're doing exceptionally well with that. Um, we're getting really good comments again. Feedback's um, been great. Feedback's been good. Everything's been going really good. We try to get to every one of your comments. It's very rare that we miss one. Yeah. Very rare. We, we try to reply to every single one of comments, and I love every one of these comments coming through, you know, yeah. especially the ones that are um, helpful, uh, as in, like, new ideas, suggestions, things like that. Yep. Um, what else was there? Um, can't think now. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's pretty much it. All the good comments that we've been getting have been just just awesome. A lot of good suggestions, yeah. a lot of good feedback. Always with the good feedback. I don't think we've got really any negative feedback that I can remember. Oh, we did get one, but that was because um, we didn't put a a um uh, a, a what they called a support on a bridge. Right. Yes. See, I don't mind that because we learn from that. I actually, yeah. I like any sort of feedback. I'm one of those sort of people that can take criticism really, really well because I learn from it. And if you guys have anything that you really, really want to say, say it. It's not going to hurt our feelings. Yeah. I, I really would love to know more 
I wouldn't say negative feedback, but like constructive criticism. We'll call it that. Yeah. Constructive criticism is always a good thing because we don't learn unless people tell us. You know what I mean? Yeah, if we uh, do it wrong, we don't know until... And we, we kind of want to know, this is coming more into the future of what we're going to be doing, a little bit more on what we could be doing that would sort of entice people to watch a little bit more. Um, we've kind of already gone through the games that people would suggest. Like, we've got a lot of feedback, like Ark, uh, Entrouded. Um, God, I can't remember now. There's so many others. There's, there's there was, there was a lot of, What was that, sorry? And Fallout 4. A lot Fallout of 4. Be, some of them are single player. Single player is no good for us. We want to play yeah. together. So we're always looking for multiplayer games. There was one game we are about to start to record, start playing, and we found out it was bloody single player. What was yeah. it, James? It was Fallout 4. No, 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 the other one. Oh, um, uh, Mayor, Mayor, uh, Mayor Lord, Lord Mayor. No, oh, uh, yeah, Manor, Manor Lord. That's Manor Lord. Manor yeah, Lord. that's the one. Yep. Yeah, and I turned around and said, "Mate, you know this is only a single player." Don't we you? went and bought it, everything like that, and all set up. getting ready to go download it. And then James goes, "Mate, I don't want to rain on your parade, but you know this is only single player, right?" And I just, I just, I'm like, can't win. Yeah can't win like sure i could play it single player record videos but then james wouldn't be involved and it wouldn't be the same so we'd rather find a multiplayer game that's going to suit both of us yeah which is sort of what we're still trying to do find another yeah. video uh sorry find some more content for other videos uh other yeah. games like the other night we um started going through dim demonologist holy crap <laughs> You, hey? shit, you you and Len yeah, shit yeah, yourselves. Yeah, yeah, all right, okay. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. shit yourselves on that game because yeah. that's freaky, that game. Yeah, yeah. There's but, another one out there that I've seen other YouTubers try out. I can't remember the name of it. Don't even ask me what it was. It was one of these ones where you're walking through the forest, right? It looked like proper cam footage. Oh. And you're looking for, I think, I can't remember. You're looking for some kids or something like that. And if you made a noise or something like that, if you screamed, oh, yeah, you would die and you would restart from the very beginning. Now that looks scary. Now the guy that I was watching, he was jumping out of his chair. He was so scared of the game. So you'd have to put masking tape on, wouldn't you, across your lips so you didn't scream? You'd have to do something. You'd have to turn off your mic. Probably your best yeah. option. But um, <laughs> that's the sort of stuff that I love playing scary games. Uh, all the old jump scares, eh? Jump scares are great, mate. They get your heart racing. It's good for you. Unless you've got a heart condition. Then yeah, it's probably not too jump. good. Yeah. No, no. But some of those, yeah, some of those jump scares will scare the absolute crap one, out of me. One um, video I watched a little way back was, um, it was uh, a game based around Bigfoot. Bigfoot? And you're, yeah, Bigfoot. And you were a, um, somebody up in the, in the cabin and you were, um, in the forest and all that sort of stuff and you were just sort of getting trying to get back to civilization or something like that and you had to be all quiet and everything like that and then you just hear a little bit of a rustle and you think <laughs> oh yeah yeah and yeah. It'd, be a, it'd be a bear or a deer or something like that because all these animals are in there as well yeah then all of a sudden you'd see this in the in the the view you just see his body just walking across the um screen in like 200 meters down from where you were and you just go oh crap oh man we're gonna and, play that game yeah it's, what's it called it's, uh, find out what it's called if you don't know what it's called we need to have a look at that it's yeah but it was just wow well, um uh, what's his name uh vlad played it vlad yeah vlad uh forget the the channel but yeah he was playing it it just scared the crap out of him yeah good i love those sort of games yeah yeah nothing um, better nothing better to be honest yeah but uh the whole trying to get back to civilization having something like that hunt you what is it it hunts you mate oh it, it hunts you. you gotcha yeah it hunts you oh damn i thought bigfoot was supposed to be peaceful 
No, not these ones. <laughs> See, there's more than one. Uh, but then you'd be sort of... Yeah, there was, I think there was a clan or something like that of them. Oh, the really? National Forest, yeah. And it, all of a sudden you'd just be walking along and you, the pace would be picked up. Mm. And you'd hear the feet behind you. Yeah, bugger that. Yeah, yeah. nah. Screw that shit. Yeah. I hate the feeling I'm being chased or... You know, stalked or hunted. That 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 freaks me out yeah. so much, man. I, I don't yeah. know if I can handle that. Yeah. Like getting no, no. yeah, that's one of my worst nightmares is just being hunted. Well, that's what you know when, when we went over and did the forest. Yeah. These guys said Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunt yeah. You, they hunt you. They do. They, they follow you. They'll chase they you down. Anything. They'll track yeah, you they'll, down and they'll kill you. Yeah, it's just like come on, really? Give and us a break and you can't there, escape. Was, yeah. Imagine that oh. in the suns. Yeah, right. That'd be so good. I really, really wish they had the same sort of characters. Not characters, but the same sort of... Not AI. What is it? Like NPCs as they do. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's AI, yeah. Uh, it, from the original forest in Sons of the Forest. They're way scarier. They're way smarter. Yeah. Well, this way... This way the, the best effort at the moment is a big fat ass chasing you. Yes. Jumping through, the, jumping through the air and landing on you. Yeah, I know, right? The sons, the, the forest um, cannibals were way scarier mm. and way better. I, I like, have to admit. Like going outside and cutting down a tree. Yeah, nah, no, no way. So tough. No, I'm it's, not doing it at night time. It's too scary because no. they'll literally appear behind you without any notice. Not like the ones here in Sons of the Forest where they'll make yeah. noise like. Yeah. You know, yeah. they'll make the make the presence uh aware, like Yeah, known to you. Known yeah. to you, yeah. And um not not on the forest. You'll literally turn around, there's one right there and he'll murder you. Then then another time you tell me at night time, don't put your lighter on if you're not using it. If you I didn't even know light. that. I didn't even know that. Because they could track I you, thought... they could see you through the light. Yeah. That's crazy. Why couldn't yeah, they bring that? Into this game. AI. Hey. That's, yeah, that's, that's something else. We I reckon. A, we get a helper that sits there, runs into a wall for 30 minutes while we want him to build something. I know, right? Jesus Christ, Calvin. I know a lot of people like Calvin and all that, but he is a dud. He is an absolute dud. He doesn't do anything. And how is he a soldier? Without right? a gun. Without a damn gun to help you. Give him a gun like uh, Virginia for bloody hell, you know? Yeah. Give him a uh, gun so he can actually do something useful. I know he's deaf and everything like that, but surely he can still see. Although that yeah. really surprises me because he runs into walls so often. Yeah. I don't, you know, V does it as well, but not as often. Yeah, but like you compare a cannibal that hunts you down if you put a lighter on yeah. to old mate running into a wall for 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes? I wish it was that long. That's usually days. You know, it's just sitting there, just all you hear in the background is, of, is his footsteps just come because he's up against the freaking wall. No, the worst one that gets to me is when he's in the water, mate, and he's in there for ages and he's splashing around making a racket. He, it just irritates me so much because he'll be doggy paddling in one spot trying yeah. to get past this one bit of wood in the way, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And he's not smart enough to go around it. No, no. So that's what I don't understand. Where where do they go wrong with that sort of um, cannibal Yeah. to what we have now? Yeah. The, this would be the ultimate game if they had the same sort of cave systems, the same sort of cannibals... This game would be untouchable. If we had it'd the building... Long, what's that, yeah, sorry? It would take you a lot longer to finish it. I don't mind that. Yeah, but that's good. I don't Wait. mind that. I, I What used to scare me about that game so much... Sorry to cut you off for a second. Yeah, yeah. Was they'll be standing on top of the cliff. Four or five yeah. of them. They would watch you. Yeah. They would watch you. They're literally there looking at you, waiting for the opportunity to pounce. And they used to terrify me when I played the game because I never played really horror games prior to playing The Forest, right? Mm. I, I never have. I just, I never got into it. I never liked horror games until they got me into that. 
And I'll be there sitting in my base in front of a fire, pitch black. You've got no defenses. You've got no walls. And they're there. Well, sorry, not pitch black, but just before night. And they're just watching yeah. you, waiting. Yeah. And then you turn your back and next thing they're gone. You know what I mean? Yeah, where the hell do they go? Exactly, because you know they're coming for you. So the best thing to do, best yeah. thing to do, get in the water, wait there. Yeah. Get in the water, wait there, because they can't get you in the water. Well, they sort of can, but they sort of can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the world that we're doing, the server that we were doing at the moment on the forest, when we first started, when we got into that server, there was four of us, okay? Mm. We did not breathe for the first, um, <laughs> the first shift that we did on that game. Nah. That first session, because we were, we were too busy eating we were too busy collecting and everything like that there was no time for anything else you had to set yourself up um and it it just made you feel it was just immersive what it was is yeah 100 percent. it's very immersive but you don't want to turn your back no because you're scared something's going to come at you I could walk out here right now, walk through that forest and not worry about a cannibal. You know why? Uh, They're not the automatic, scary. The automatic shotgun? Then not not just that. <laughs> They're not scary. You could walk yeah. no, anywhere and you just run a little bit and they're gone. They're yeah. almost like they're um, territorial, right? Yeah. As soon as you get out of their territory, they leave you alone. The yeah. forest, they will track you through the entire bloody map. And the map's half the size. A quarter of the size. So you really got nowhere to go. Yeah, got you. Unless you go in the water. Like, that's your only option. Yeah. But even then, they follow you. Yeah, you got sharks coming at you and, yeah. <laughs> Crocodiles and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and if that, just, get, oh, if that doesn't get you, the bloody cold will. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the cold will kill you in that game, unlike here. Yeah. Oh, actually, does it kill you here? I've never been killed by... No, nah, neither have I. I've never been killed by the cold. I've died from starvation and stuff like that, but never... Never from the cold. Uh, when um, just uh, last 24 hours, I started up a new server uh, for a build server, and I put it on hard survival, okay? Yeah. And we decided to go um, uh, no god mode and that sort of stuff. So while we were building, we were um, had to stop and eat and drink and warm up and everything like that. Mm-hmm. It felt like the first week we did on the sun, uh, the forest. Okay. Yeah. See, I, I don't, even, I don't remember it like that because I haven't done that for a very long time. Yeah. Like, yeah, we did do that brief period when it, um, the game released properly. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. The hard survival. It was hard. It was hard, but it wasn't scary. Mm. I go back to the forest now. It's still still kind of terrifying yeah yeah and that was like on normal mode in the forest felt like hard survival in in um suns it was it just gave me that feeling it i don't know yeah it, it just doesn't give me the same feeling dude mm. i love this game i love the building i love everything about this game yeah. but the original forest just had something else that I really enjoyed, and that's the the unknown. Mm. The unknown of when you're going to get attacked and the unknown when you're going to die. Not if. When. Yeah, when. Because you will die. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there are people out there that have done it without dying. I'm sure there are. Um, but that's another challenge we should probably think about doing at some stage as well, James. Yeah. yeah. 100 days, hard survival no cheats let's just survive and see if we could do it without dying oh we'll die let's see if we could do it without dying i'd say see if we could do it without giving up <laughs> that, that'll be a greater challenge you reckon <laughs> yeah see how far we get into it 100 days is a long time though yeah yeah you know that's probably equivalent to like two months in yeah. game what's the longest server you've got in days my original which is um it's over 100 hours it's probably close yeah. to like 150 hours mm. that's my original one prior to me using any console commands or anything yeah. like that yeah 
Mine, mine is 267 days. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. But and you were using cheats, right? Yeah, yeah. See, I was doing it. This is before I discovered all the um, console before, commands and mods and everything like that. Uh, I, knew, I never knew about it before I was tainted. Yeah. yeah. Before I was corrupted by certain people. Yeah, that's what um, Roshi says to me. I broke him. Yep. Corrupted from... Yeah. I was probably about three to four months into the game before I even knew that you could turn structure damage off. Yeah. Like, that's that's crazy how I never knew about it. And then someone was like, why don't you just turn off the, the building damage? I'm like, what it's are like, you talking huh? about? Turning Can off the building damage. I said, you can't turn off the building damage. They come, they destroy your shit, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah go into the option. Go down the bottom. Turn it off. I'm like, are you serious? Are you telling me for the past 100-plus <laughs> in-game days, <laughs> this floppy dildo would come through... <laughs> And destroy yep. my base on a daily, and I could have turned this off. Oh, the Johns, the Johns. He's a floppy dildo. That's what we call him. Yep. The John Twos. Yep. John Twos. And the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Puffet used to come through and annihilate me. Yeah. Annihilate me. And I'm just like, how do you defeat these guys? You're yeah. one person against eight or five or whatever it was yeah. of these Puffets yeah. coming through. And that John Two would flop through your base. Yep. And just completely destroy it. It'll get under your deck, ruin everything under there. God forbid if you've got a f bridge. Yeah. You know, like I would build bridges and stuff like that, and he'll get underneath it, destroy the pillars underneath, and just destroy it. Yep. I'd have to rebuild it. I, how many times I've rebuilt my base? Mm. It nearly broke me. And then someone yeah. just told me, just turn it off. Just turn it yeah. off. Like, why did no one tell me? Like, it's my own fault for not going in there looking, honestly. Yeah. You should have gone, I should have gone through and just gone, okay, yep, 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 yep. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. No, no. I didn't do that because I was silly and naive. Well, this is the reason why I've always done defenses first on my builds. So did I, back in the day. Defenses yeah. were number one priority. Yeah. Before we I had any of the, um, before we even had the um, hokey pokey traps. Yeah. This is the, this is how far we're going back before the hokey yeah. pokey traps were even a thing. Yeah. And what we'd have is those um, spring traps. You would have and, the uh, spikes, obviously, the ones you make. Yeah. They were my go-to traps. And what are those? Uh, not the butterfly ones. What are they called? Oh. You know the spring-loaded um, ones you step on and they um, flip people back and shit. Oh, uh, the um, the ones that burn. Nah, nah. Uh, before that, before the Molotov ones. Pass. Yeah, I can't remember now. It doesn't matter. Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. Open your book. Open my book. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Turn my controller. Yeah, look on. at that. Great minds. Oh, great minds think alike. Wrong one. I'll never get used to that. So traps should be around here somewhere. There you go. The um the fly swatter traps. Oh, those yeah, ones yeah. there. Yeah. So that's what we had back in the day with the swi uh fly swatter traps, the bone maker traps. Now, the fly swatter traps would be pretty much useless up until later on into the game. I'm talking like 10 months into pre-release. Yeah. Remember when they changed that and they actually became useful? Mm. Hokey yeah. pokies were never in there. So that's the three traps we had. Yeah. We had the bone maker trap, the fly swatter trap, and we had the spring trap. That was it. And yeah. then the hokey pokey would come in. And then we got the silent alarm, which wasn't very silent. But that was no. cool. I really like that one because I would set them up everywhere. They were costly to make, but they were good yeah. to have. And now we got like leaf traps and all this sort of stuff, all these other cool things. Yeah. So really, really has come a long way. Ah, oh, James, your favorite oh. one. Oh, uh, the spin trap. Spin trap, yeah. And the Uber yeah. traps, they're awesome. And the Uber, yes. Yeah, the grinder traps are always good. You know what? I've never used those um, spear traps. Yeah. Never got into it. Never really used it. They look they, cool. They, yeah. Yeah, they look cool and they... But the problem is Calvin can't load them. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's why they're not uh, really... Okay. A, when you said um, Calvin do uh, redo traps, maintenance... Yeah. Um, he can... He doesn't gather them or anything like that, you know. But you can actually tell him to grab spears. Yeah, I suppose. 
Yeah, can he make spears or does he just collect no, them off? Yeah. He just collects them from the ground. Actually, you know what? You know what Calvin was really good for back in the day before any sort of um, cheats or anything like that? They didn't, that? Have, they didn't have maintenance build. He used to go and collect your arrows after you um, shot them all around the bloody place. He would bring back oh, a bit. Yeah. That was really helpful and he was good at that, actually. Anything else, like collecting sticks, rock stone, all that sort of stuff, nah. Forget about it. He takes too long or he gives up. He sits under a bridge like a troll. But yeah. when you ask him to go and get your arrows, he would be really quick and efficient about it. Yeah. So that's that was one good thing I liked about Calvin. Yeah. And Virginia. You know I never knew you could give Virginia guns. <laughs> I never knew at the very beginning. Admittedly, I didn't really have any of the guns when I first started. Yeah. I was yeah. relying on the um, cross, uh, the compound bone and stuff like that because that was my go-to weapon. Ah. Yeah, the compound bow was my favorite one. I never liked the crossbow because it takes too long to reload. Yeah. But the compound bow, I was so good at that back in the day. I was, like, really good at that. And effective, and, eh? Yeah, well, very effective, especially when you gain up, um, uh, what do you call it, damage? Not damage. Uh, you know how you get your skills yeah, up and stuff like clever. that? Yeah, yeah strength yeah. up. And once you get that up as well, your arrows become more effective, I've found. Mm. So, yeah, that was my go-to. I used to take out one of those big dudes with one shot with the arrow, as long as you got a um, carbon arrow. How'd you go down in the caves, but? Um, what did I use down the caves? Sword. I would have used a katana. Yeah. Uh, but by that time, I probably had a shotgun, but I would never have any ammo. Yeah. Because I'd always use it all on stupid shit, like things that didn't require it, like or, fishing. Or, <laughs> or, John, or John 2's breaking up the base. Oh. You know what I used to use in the John 2? Uh, grenades? Nah, I didn't have grenades at the time. Oh, you couldn't throw anyway. No, no, no. It would destroy my place. What I yeah. would do is I would get my taser out, the yellow taser. Yeah. I'd tase yep. him, and that will give me enough time to get my sword out and quickly chop him up as much as I can before he destroyed too much. Yeah. That was what I would do. The taser was very effective. I should have used the baton. But Why? I, I don't think it was as good as the taser, actual taser gun. Oh, Okay. Because the baton, you just like that, eh? Well, you're essentially doing the same thing. It's just, um, I don't know. You're never, more... never used it. I used it to beat people with it, but. Well, the, the, the taser gun would have more distance, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you'd have to be up, up close to personal with the baton. Yeah. You did that with John? Yeah, good luck. You get flipped around and knocked <laughs> out. Yeah, you'd be dead. Yeah. Yeah, I never knew about God mode. None of that sort of stuff. Admittedly, the game was a lot more fun back then. Yeah. Now, I'm, yeah. I'm a little bit, dis not disappointed, but yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed you never experienced it like that when you first came out. You went straight yeah. into it, you know? Everyone that plays this game should start with it on properly, you yeah. know? And then yeah. once you've finished the game and done all that sort of stuff, then who cares, you know? Yeah. Build like crazy. Use all your cheats, all your mods, all that sort of stuff. It, it makes building more fun. Although that's yeah. really debatable, isn't it? Yeah, well, I, I'm just saying. Well, I'm just saying with my two thousand five hundred, two thousand eight hundred bloody hours, yeah. I think I've earned the right to, uh, uh, you know, you can do I've whatever you want. Yeah, you're a yeah, veteran. Sure. Yeah, um, but I'm more than happy to try it. But I always go back to it. Just, yeah, I don't know. It's it's the game time you know i may do a crap load of game time per day um but uh to gather logs and all that sort of stuff i'd rather be building mate that's that. that's one yeah. thing i admired about kills for thrills okay? yeah he did it he, did, he it. did it properly he did it well yeah and the a couple of times that I've been on with him when we did the base tours of his first series and second series bases, right? Yeah. We we chatted for a long time. And I'm like, between you and me, just tell me. <laughs> I'm dead set I asked him. I had to ask him because I, I didn't believe he would do it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I said, mate, just between you and me, you, you're using cheats, right? You know? You're, you're using log hack and all that sort of stuff. And he goes, nah, I'm not using any of it. Like, come on, dude. Just, just tell me. It's okay. I'm not going to say anything to anybody. Just, uh, dude, dead set. I, I do not. Picture I have an uh, English accent. <laughs> and he goes, no, I don't do it. I go, why not? He goes, 
I find it ruins the game for me. And I'm like, dude, yeah, okay, fair. I completely respect that. I respect the yeah. fact that you will stick it out and do Complete. it to yeah. do it the way it's designed to be done without cheats. I'm broken now, though, James. I can't go back to those days. Yeah. We were yeah, talking about it last week or the week before, remember? Yeah. Because how about we do a build like kills? Let's just go back to the old days and gather yeah. stuff. I think I tried it for like five minutes. I'm like, yeah, that, nah. You know, I'm like, I can't swear. I want to swear. I'm like, <laughs> hell, hell no. I am not doing this. <laughs> I am not going to be going back to this way. I can't do it. It takes too long. I'm so used yeah. to building at a pace. Yeah. And I want to be able to complete the structure, say, within a week. Yeah. Not, not in a year. Yeah. You imagine what we built right now, how long this would have taken us. Oh, yeah. But a, mu a you, month or two, but we would yeah. need a whole team of people. But mind you, the way you and I would probably work, we could get it, we'd probably get it done in a decent pattern, decent um, time frame. Because. James. Yeah, we, okay. We would still be working on the deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we'd be laying. Yep, yep, yep. We'll be still working on the deck, dude. Yeah. Could you imagine trying to find all the wiring and the light bulbs for this place? Oh. Could you imagine trying to find all this deer skin for these couches? Right. Yeah. And for yeah. the chairs and for the tablecloths? Yeah. I couldn't imagine. How many times would we have to go back and get a shotgun for the lighting under the bar, mate? Oh. And find those lights. Yeah. And the attachments for the lights. Yeah, the blues and the... Yep how much cloth we would have to go find for all the torches around here. Yeah. Like, think no, about right. it. Think about <clears throat> it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Well, see, I've never done any of that, so I don't know what that... <clears throat> I it's, don't know what that's like. It's very, very time-consuming, but very, very rewarding. Where, uh, yeah. you seen my original base, right? Yeah, yeah. My very first base. I should take people yep. along. What, what do you reckon? It's, uh... It's got a lot of um, <clears throat> issues with frames per second, mate. <laughs> okay, give me once. Give me one second. All right, just loading into it. You people will be the first people to ever see my very first build done by hand. Done by hand, James. <laughs> done by hand, buddy. Now, I it wasn't just me. I'm not going to say this, but I did do the majority of it. I had my mate. Um, Jevin and uh, Blake and Dale as well coming on to give us a hand with some of this. Now, this is terrible. Oh, look at the FPS on this thing. <laughs> Are you in the game yet? No. Do I want to come in? Yeah, 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 come in. You need to come have a look at this place. You know what? We need to get into fly mode because it'll make it a lot easier to see this place. Look at the flickering. This is my very, very first base when I first started the game. It is huge. Well, in comparison to what you can do. Holy crap, a lot of the trees are grown back. This was deforested to the max. My very, very first house was this one right here. It didn't have all this fancy stuff on it, though. Yeah. It was just a, a straight up. See, this is what I mean about the roofs. This is the sort of building that I would do when I first started here. And you couldn't do those fancy roofs until later down the track, which is over there. Oh, my right. God. I, I haven't been back on this in like almost a year, yeah. I reckon. I would have. Oh, hey, where's all my log storage and stuff? Have you forgotten where you put it? No, I would, it's not there anymore. Oh, there's some there. Maybe I moved it. Oh, there you are. Oh, the flickering is so bad. I went back in... No, no, it wasn't a year ago. Sorry, the last time I was in here. The last time I was back in here is when the... The uh, batteries came into play. Oh, okay. And I was still... I don't know why, but I came back on here to see if it changed in any way. Uh-huh. But this was this was my defenses. 
Hey, there you go. There's the uh, fly trap swatters thingies. The hokey pokey traps set up. This is where the John 2, the floppy dildo, would come from. Yeah. It would always come down this damn hill. So I, I was waiting for him ready to go. The um, forest is looking a bit bare, mate. Up here. It's been deforested a lot. And over there, it, it's actually grown back a fair bit, but slowly getting there. I deforested a lot of this place. I would actually go as far as going all the way up to the other end, taking stuff away. But the very first bridge I ever built, this one here, and he would get under here and completely knock the pillars out and bring it down. And it would go crashing. That's the oh. first high rise I ever built by hand. Oh my god. And then this tower that we built by hand as well. Holy crap. Have you seen this before? What the hell is this? Where? This like an arena. Oh yes, the arena. That one was actually made with a whole bunch of us. <laughs> that that took a long time and a lot of people I would have a full server with people collecting stone. <laughs> and stuff like that, man. Like, I played this. This is where a lot of my hours went into. Yeah, this is primitive to what we've done these days, but you, if anyone knows this area, we're right next to where the gun is. The in handgun. The, the handgun in the, in the life raft. Yeah, yeah. We're on this beach with this flat. If you ever come past here, it is all bush. And you got this little waterfall here. It was all bush. It was all bush. All bush. <laughs> <laughs> and then I built a second bridge and then it just progressively oh. got worse and worse and the obsession got worse and worse and anybody put some uh, solar panels uh, yeah I had an obsession with solar panels back in the day I remember that you used to be able to run a whole village off of one one solar panel you could, I put them there for an aesthetic Yeah. which at the time I thought looked cool, not yeah. anymore this decking, <laughs> look at look how crazy I went with the decking, the lighting, the plants. And this was not an easy place to build, it, admittedly. Look at this. Holy Moses. Yeah. No cheats involved here, mate. No cheats involved. Oh, the scaffolding for it. Oh, you have no idea. This is uh, Dale's bridge that he built. This was a pretty cool thing back in the day. When you're doing curved bridges. Uh. This was his attempt at a base, which he never finished. So all this was him, this section yep. here. The rest was me and Dale's, not Dale, um, Blake's house was here. Yep. Uh, where is it? Down here. This was his house here. Jevin had a big place up there. It got torn down because he didn't like it. He started one here, and this is the last time he ever played Sons of the Forest. Oh. That was it. That was a ramp for the glider because we used to love the gliders. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, there's still food on the rack. Huh. Yum, yum. I wouldn't touch it, mate. Too late. I already ate it. Oh. Oh, hey, look at this. I used the rope bridge. Yeah. That's good to see, mate. Yep. And the rain, of course. It's hard. <laughs> on cue. On cue. Oh, there's a gazebo. Uh, that's a half one. That's a half one. Uh, it looks terrible now that I look at it. But, yeah, that's another one. Uh, actually, yeah, the two ends with the gazebos. This is sort of the gazebos where it all started. Yeah. Back before the the roofs were like this. Yep. You can see the sort of the evolution of the game, can't you, here? Yeah. So yeah. from there, they didn't have these sort of roofs. And this is when it only went one way. You couldn't invert the roof either. Oh man, this brings me back. Oh, a lot of lot of hours here. Not bad for a first base though. Hmm. And there is the use of um of tarps as well. Yep, that was Dale. That's when tarps were first been uh, first able to be laid in the yeah. things. Yep. I oh. see. 
What I was see I some thinking? things don't change. That is a classic. It will always be, <laughs> it'll always be there with me. I'm bringing that all, uh, bringing back from, uh, still bringing that from the uh, original, yeah. Yeah. We'd have to build walls. Or this wasn't a very effective wall because cannibals will still be able to come through. Yeah. Oh, man, there's a lot of deforestation, but I'm glad to see some of it starting to grow back. But if you look up this hill, man, look how much trees are gone. Yeah. Yeah, I was just, when I was coming in, I was going, wow. Because you got to remember, this is um, crazy with trees, this area. Yeah. So here was my rhythm, uh, uh, not my rhythm, my routine every time I logged on. So let me just speed up this real quick. You load into your game, first place you go. We're going to zip line. Yeah. Down to the beach. Yep. Empty out the crates. Go down here, get all your bits and pieces. Zip line back. We're going to go all the way back. Uh, I think some of the little zip lines have moved since then. Uh, yeah, I know. There we go. Then they went up here, through there, up through here. Next one, down here, couple of crates, back up, through the forest, through the damn forest. This one will lead you to the bunker right here, yep. get everything out of the bunker, back up here, up the hill, all the way up here, we've got some more stuff. This is how I'd resupply on a on a regular basis. What? Well, how long would that take? The whole trip, probably ten minutes. Okay. And sometimes, you know, how you just get out of the game and you come back in, you just keep doing it if you need something yeah, in particular. Yeah, yeah. So there'll be a lot of saving, restarting, coming Running. back into the game, all that sort of stuff. Mm. I used to do a lot, a lot of that with um, pots. Oh yes, yeah. Actually, we haven't been into one of my houses. The one I originally built on, this one here. Yeah. Let's quickly go into it. I'll All show right. you around. I'll speed me up a bit. Where are you? I'm only just floating. I'm only just floating. Okay. Coming. Coming in. Be there in two seconds. This place used to get hit so hard. This is very active cannibal camp. Up yeah. the thing. Where are you? Uh, outside on the behind you. Okay. And I've done it again. Oh, you scared me. Uh, okay, this will be the main place. Had my food, right. my pot obsession. <laughs> would be right here. This is the kitchen. More Ooh. pots over here. Yep. Missing one there, actually. Probably in my backpack. And then you would go upstairs. So you had a way to go onto the roof. Yep. I made a uh, rope going all the way to the roof so you got a lookout. Yep. Oh, what happened there? And my storage. So this is where I'll stockpile everything. Oh, you're a single one, single player, are you? Every every um item gets a single. Yes. Uh, well, essentially. You know the worst part about it is though. What? I would do all this collecting. And then people yeah. come through and just take willy nilly whatever they want. <laughs> so, and they always rated the medication. Yeah. The wire, the light bulbs. Yep. Uh, no one ever took any tape. Funny that. Yeah. Candy bars, tape was never touched. Yeah. Uh, grenades were always taken. Ooh, basic stuff like soft drinks were always taken. Mm. Rope was always a big one. Yeah. No one ever took C4. But yeah, medication, hands down, was the most, yeah, the, the the greatest commodity. It was a violent world out there, man. It was indeed. <laughs> and even back then, I had this place lit up like a Christmas tree. Yeah. But it's blinking. Oh yeah, that's right. I have some storage down here as well. Always needed sticks and this sort of stuff. Yep. But I used to have tons of logs under here and on the other side as well. Okay. I'd always have logs stockpiled. Maybe they got used. I don't know. It's getting a bit dark. Let's be naked to daytime again. Our fish traps down here for food. 
There's tons of fish in them. A lot of plants. Yeah, that didn't help with the FPS, dude. No. It really didn't help with the FPS. Oh, uh, it's so janky. Yeah. You know? And oh. you're running a and you're running a four eighty. Yeah, four eighty. And it's a janky. Yeah. My very, very first archery <laughs> thing in here. He pulled out his bow. It was crazy. Oh, there's even steps going upstairs. Yeah, I think that was intended to be storage. Yeah. And the tower going up. This was the the jewel, you know? The jewel. Where are you? The overwatch. That's pretty cool. I oh, like that. Oh, look at that. I wonder if that still works. My elevator system. That's where I first came up with the elevator oh. system. Oh, yeah. Right here. I forgot about that. Bet it doesn't work anymore. And then you'd be down underneath here. Oh, stockpile of night V's down here too. The only way to get around. Jeez, it's a bit of a bit of a mission to get up here. Nah, it don't work no more. Ah. Oh well. Oh man. It brings me back. It brings me back. Old days, the good old days. Absolutely. And then I moved houses. I upgraded. And this was my next house. It's looking a little bit worse for wear, but... Oh, that's right. You know why I came back in here? Why? When I first discovered Cheat Stick, thanks to Dale. Yeah. And then I would... Look at the, look at the ammunition stockpile here, dude. Uh, uh. Do you see it? Holy crap. Yeah. This is my ammunition stockpile after... All this um, was done. Cheap. Yeah, when Cheat Stick first came along, I'm like, just in case they ever get rid of um, Cheat Stick, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of ammo here. Just in case. You never know. What's the deal here? What? I, I Peyton that fireplace. You would. No, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I patented it, mate. Oh, well, I did it before I met you, so... Too bad, so oh. sad. Too bad, so sad. And then I moved to this house. And this is where the jail came from. Oh. We used to lock Calvin up in here. <laughs> when he's been naughty. He always hit under the bridge like a troll. Do you know how long this roof took us to make? Oh. A no. Long time. With no cheats, no nothing. Remember that? Yep. That's a lot of scaffolding. That was a lot of scaffolding, a lot of trial and error, that. Uh, I see you made good use out of the fireplace, but... We had to. Yeah. Had to. But I still can't believe how far we've come. Yeah. At the same time, how little we've come as well, because... You know, essentially still doing the same sort of stuff. Yeah. What's in here? Did I ever move in here? I can't remember now. Yes, I did, I think. Oh, yep. That was my bed up there. I don't think I like this place as much. I don't know what the hell was the point of that up there. The other places are completely empty. Yeah. They were, um... I was just trying to build a town. At the time. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think I put anything in these ones. Nah. Completely empty. Oh, there's a bed in there. Jeez. The rock. Yes. But this was a really good source of rock around here, dude. Yeah. A lot of rock around here. Along this whole riverbed is rock. And then you're going to go further up here, right? Yeah. And we'll just go for a quick walk. And we'll just send zip lines down. The rocks. Yeah, yep. There's bloody rocks everywhere. So many bloody rocks. Yeah. 
Uh, that's where our zipline went to. Yep. From here. Because you get stacks along here as well. All the way down. And on the other side as well. Yeah. And you just be feeding it down and then you'll finish with your rocks. You save. You get out. You come back in yeah. to reset all the rocks. Yep. And so forth. Um, I think we started deforesting here a little bit towards the end of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did. Not too bad up here. Uh, other side as well, actually. Yeah, I started there. But not far from here, there's a, there's a cannibal camp. And they would always be here, and they'd always mess us up. Mm. That's a nice little spot, isn't it? Where? This here. Yeah, it is. We never come around here, eh? I love the, the river around here, too. I did not. I don't even remember being here. I, like, I can't remember the last time I was here. It's got two rivers coming into one. Yeah, I never even noticed that. Well, I probably did back in the day, but not lately. What's that? Oh, I, I saw it. Ah, oh, wrong one. Come here. This is a nice area. Yeah. I just clipped him. Oh, okay. There's more up here. This is actually a really, really nice area, James. Yeah. But look at them all. Yeah. But imagine this on survival. Ooh. It's a rough area. It's a rough neighborhood. <laughs> this is the Zoomia of... Um, <laughs> this is the Zoomia of Sons of the Forest. You don't want to come down here at the night, I'll tell you that. I know, I know. Bad record. You'll make, you'll make wet one trip, that's it. One trip, you ain't coming home. No, yeah. But, but look at all the rock along here. This is why we yeah. loved it. This yeah. is just rock central. Yeah. Yeah. But you would get attacked on stop. Yep. Alrighty. That's good if you got uh, a couple of people with you. Um. Yeah. Yeah. As long as they got your back. Yeah. Yeah. They always they always did back in the day though. That's the thing. Yeah. But yeah, no, nah, I miss this place. I'd like to build here again one day. Go down memory. Rebuild rebuild the town, but a lot a better smaller. this time. A lot better this time. Yeah. Less lights and less trees. I mean, less um, plants. Less stone, too. Oh, dear. Here's Calvin. Hey. Hey, buddy. How How's you doing? It? How's it going, mate? Hey, mate. He's a dopey bastard. <laughs> ah. He's such a pest. He's that. He's like that. That um, that little nephew that always wants to <laughs> hang around. You. <laughs> like oh. oh, oh, what are you doing now? What are you doing? Can I help you? Can I help you? Yeah, they don't do anything to help you. No, they just make a mess of things. But the Coliseum was pretty cool. We used to have a lot of fun in there, man. Yeah, spawning in. Yep, spawning in a lot of cannibals. Holy oh, mate. it's so laggy. Yeah, it's it's. You know, yeah, halfway through this and it was doing this, you'd be like, nah, that's it, done. Well, no, not halfway through. I dealt with this lag for about two months. Yeah. Month, something like that. I dealt with it. I kept building yeah. in it. And I never complained about it really until I'm just like, okay, time for a new server. Yeah. I think I'll, this is done. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. I, I couldn't do any more. I wish I could show you my second build. It was actually really, really impressive. I deleted the file by accident. Uh, a little bit disappointed because I had like five 25-story skyscrapers in it. Uh, the whole thing was just phenomenal. That's when I started using cheats. So uh, it's not as impressive as something that you built by hand. Mm. Mm. I suppose if you build it by hand, everything counts, doesn't it? Like Every um, log, every stone matters. Yep. But your design and everything like that would have to be 
your whole thought process would be your resources, what you can get, what you can get fast. Not, not a single thing was wasted, dude. I'm telling you right now, not a single quarter log was wasted. Do you know why? Yeah. That's another tree i got to chop down to get that quarter log. You yeah, know what that's I mean? right. Yeah. So everything will be stockpiled. You can't tell now because this game's finished, but when it was around. Like, you, mm. remember, you know how you put those logs and the stones and you pile them up on the, on the ground, yep. right? That's yeah. how it used to be everywhere. Yeah. Because we would never waste anything. Yeah. Not a damn thing. Every quarter log that went into putting these posts in. Yep would be used so there was yeah. never any waste yeah it's kind of like when you you know kill an animal and you're using every part of its body yeah that's how it was oh well it was good to come back down a little bit of memory lane and this is sort of i wanted to show you everyone this is because this is where we started this is how the channel started this is how everything started it was all right here and i'm i'm really happy to share this with everybody actually because no one's seen this before James James might have seen it a long time ago. Long time, long time. Um, but that's about it. No one else out of the immediate friend group has ever seen this before. And it's nothing nothing I'm really proud of, to be honest, but It's where it, it begun. It's where it all begun. Like everything had a purpose here in this game. Mm. Yeah, this is where we used to get attacked a lot under this bridge. They used to come through here. So I'd always set up these stupid traps. Yeah. Um, I would normally have spikes everywhere. Yeah. Because then they can't come down to... Like, this took a lot of the cannibals out. Yeah. Oh, man. The good old days. Makes me want to build a little town again, though, James. You can still see in the floor where it's not 100% fixed. Because you can't the, fix it. From the attack. From the John 2s. I've yeah. rebuilt it the best I could. Yeah. And then never recovered. Yeah. Yeah. It's all messed up. Shy of literally tearing down the entire thing and starting yep. again. That was yeah. not going to be an option because that's more stone that i got to gather. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Some of the lighting doesn't even work around here. Oh, there's not enough. Yeah. Oh, well. You remember the good old days when panels used to fit on roofs properly? Yep. And they were flat? Yes. That's what I liked. Yep. Boy, did I go crazy with it. <laughs> Amazing. Yep. Well, that was a nice trip down memory lane, eh, James? Yep. It is awesome to see where people come from. That's where the I came from. Build. Yep. That's where it all started. That's where it all begun. That's how the whole passion for this game and creating content came from. I guess a lot of people told me I should make videos and yeah. I should, you know, showcase some of the builds that I do. They're not that impressive, though. You know what I mean? They're not mm. Actually, they're not pre impressive whatsoever. But the fact that no one else at the time that I know of, and a lot of people said this, no one was ever using plants as, like, decoration. Yep. No one was doing decking like I was doing decking. So maybe that was enough to get people to say, yeah, okay, why don't yeah. you make some content? Why don't you get some YouTube videos up and yeah. do this? So it was all the uh, positive influences that I had, I guess, that yeah. led us to where we are today. Yep. Yeah. And we're not we're not a big channel by any means, but we no. are growing. Yep. We are growing on a daily. Yeah. Going um, up, up, up. Going up, and it's all thanks to everybody that watches, comments, and likes our videos. If you don't like or comment on my videos, then it, they don't go anywhere. They don't get recommended by YouTube. They don't. They don't do. They don't do anything. They go stagnant. They go dead, and then yeah. the channel goes dead. So, at the end of the day, the only person to really thank is you guys for being with us. And if you made it this far into the video, you guys are absolute legends. You know, I, yeah. I couldn't thank you enough. Honestly, without you guys, none of this would be possible. And who knows where we'd be? I don't know if James... Well, you know where we'd be? I would never would have met James. I never would yep. have met a lot of cool people. I never would have a Discord that I met a lot of awesome people through. And um, I don't know what I'd be doing. Because <laughs> I love yeah. making content. I love making videos. I know I'm not the best at it, but we try. And improving every day. We try to improve. Yeah. try to improve i know there's still a lot to learn about making videos and editing and 
all that stuff. But, you know, I'm learning. This is new to me. I've never done anything like this. I've never been one for speaking to people or to the microphone, essentially. Mm. That's one thing I always wanted to try, though, is maybe getting on the camera. I don't have a webcam, though. Get on the camera so people could actually see your facial reactions when you're playing the game. But yeah. The problem is all they're going to see is just me probably looking at a screen, not, not making any facial uh, gestures or nothing like that at all. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's any good. I think just us talking is quite quite good. Well, there's always um, uh, opportunities to investigate. Um, it may work. Just you know, like maybe the two of us sitting there doing doing uh, Sons of Forest or or um, doing uh, backroom. Yeah, back rooms is always good. Or have demonologist you... and seeing both of our facial expressions. Oh, like... mate, you're going to see some facial expressions when you see me playing playing any of those scary games, I'll tell you that now. Yeah, like a lot of the time with sons, it'll be like, um, I'll be crapping myself and <laughs> and Chris is just sitting there laughing at me. <laughs> I guess it's funny. I love watching people <laughs> shit themselves. I don't know <laughs> what it is about it. I guess I'm a little bit sadistic, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> Just, just, a, a, just, a, just a tad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it a lot of um, like I've I've watched a lot of uh, YouTube earlier, and um, the the creators put their faces and all that sort of stuff, and it, it's good to see the faces. But essentially, you want to see the what's on the screen yeah. that's making them do that. Yeah. Um. So it's sort of like a price to play, you know. I but know. It, it brings it brings hum, humanity to the to the thing. Yeah, but who wants to see my ugly mug? You know. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I guess people have seen enough of my picture anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah every right. time you load in, yeah. Yeah, it's just no one wants to see me. <laughs> no <laughs> one wants to see me. I don't even like seeing me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but anyway, that's we we digress. I don't know what else. Anything else, James? You want to add um, to the... We'd we'd like to organise and sort of like get some uh, members slash viewers um, in for a chat one time. Yeah, we would um, love to get some people in to talk about Sons of the Forest or other things. It doesn't have to be Sons of the Forest. Um, you're, sorry, it's good to have other people's impressions of similar scenarios that we we go through every day. Yeah. Definitely. Um, to get people's opinions of what they think of the game and how they've reacted to it and how they've sort of evolved. progressed and evolved, yeah. And the game is always cool to hear. Get their personal and their honest opinions about the game is always a good mm. thing as well. Whether it be negative or positive, it doesn't really matter. We really try to stay away from the negative as much as possible because, like I said in the, in the previous parts, the negativity is you know there's enough of it in the world we don't need to bring it to our game as well so um, that's why james and i generally will have a positive out outlook on the yeah. on the on the game other than when we have obvious things that we can't control like the frustration i get from when the game lags or it does something that's unexpected but that's a normal reaction to have when the game doesn't work the way it's supposed to yeah but it, essentially yeah as soon if something like that happens you blow up for about five ten minutes but you, you get over it hold you on and yeah the game because of of the way you know how much you love the game yeah you get over it pretty quickly and you move on yeah simple as that you find it's a solution to your problem or you just start again yeah start again you're always gonna, you're always gonna come back to the game if you're invested like we are Mm. and we are very invested in the game and that's why it's so hard for us to be able to move on from it yeah and i would love to go and play other games but i like i said before i'm just too uh, uh, what's the word i compare this game to a lot of games and i shouldn't but this game has so much beauty to it yeah just from the yeah. scenery to the wildlife to everything to every aspect of this game 
it has so much beauty to it and the way the game works is like nothing else i've ever seen before or played or, or played, played. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well you see a lot of games and they look different but i I, I don't give things a fair chance because I'm afraid I'm going to be disappointed because it's not like Sons of the Forest, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and it would never will be, and I've got to get rid of that mindset where I'm trying to look at everything as it has to be like Sons of the Forest. I want to build yeah. like Sons of the Forest. If I want to build like Sons of the Forest, I might as well continue playing I'm Sons of the playing Forest. The forest. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I need to get out of that mindset where there are other games and there's better games out there Potentially, that could be better than this. Yeah. Was, Potentially. Um, like, the first night, we went back to the forest. Oh, yeah. And I, I spent the whole night pretty much um, not speaking because I couldn't... I couldn't play it. You couldn't it see it. Yeah, I couldn't... You know, I'm so used to being able to do this in Sons of the Forest and, and this isn't happening in here um, but you know as as Chris said you've got to sort of give give something a chance yeah um, and we're edging closer yeah we're yeah. edging closer to some other game that may not be relevant to this game but we're looking to do some other stuff other than Sons of the Forest as well yeah. I still love Sons of the Forest. I still want to do content for the forest, uh, Sons of the Forest. So I want to make that very clear. It's not one of those sort of games that we're going to be dropping. We've spent so much time, energy on this game. That it's not going to just get thrown away like a you know piece of shit. But we do also need to branch out and expand. Um, I'd love to get some new subscribers on here, new members in the Discord. Yep. Yeah. Um, we we need to evolve as a channel as well. Yeah. Otherwise, we will get left behind you'll see yeah. like a lot of the players big players they don't stay on one game for too long we, we've stayed on this longer than we should have yeah uh kills has moved on from it you know he's um fallout 4 and shroud um other games like that 76 yeah um he's moved on and i don't want to move on yeah not fully and not we'd like you guys to stick with us yes that's what i'm worried about as well that's my number one fear that built this channel and we move on to a different game and we lose all you guys and we really don't want that but at the same time if we don't move on from this game so well, i don't know how it's going to go i've never done this before so i don't know how we're gonna mm. i've just this is what i've been told we will get left behind and our channel will become irrelevant but at the end of the day, like James was saying probably earlier, I'm not sure if he said it on camera or not, but look at look at the forest, right? Seven years on, people yeah. still follow it, still have a following for it. Suns yeah. might be one of those games. Might be one of those games that'll be forever, not forever, but you know what I mean? A long-term following for it because there's yeah. always new players yep. and there are a lot of people that have left the game, but there's a lot of new players every day. Yeah, and then on top of that, you've got the, the updates. Yes, that's the only thing keeping me going, dude. Yeah. Those updates, even if they're once a month, I'll take yeah. it. There's yeah. a new update. When's the next one due? I don't know. I don't know. I can't give that information. It's usually monthly. When was the last one? Oh, about two, two, three weeks. Okay, so we're probably due for another one soon. Yeah. Because but after was, the release, there was a month period. Yeah. Where there was, a, there was, there was no um, warning or anything like that. It there just, never has been. Yeah. Uh, We've never been war Okay, sorry. There was a timer. Yeah. But before it went full release, two months prior to that, remember? There was no timer. Yeah, that's right. And then it was a monthly thing. Yeah. Uh, except for the last two months. Then there was absolutely nothing. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to be like a monthly thing where they bring something new into the game or at least improvements. Yeah. Yeah. Because we- a, month is a good month is a good span to be able to... Um, introduce yourself to the new update, work it, find out how how we use it and everything like that, and then by the time the month is done, we're ready for another one. Just keep it coming. Yeah. Every, every two weeks sounds a lot better to me, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every week would be even better, but I know that's not practical. Yeah, they've got to they've got to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, they got a lot of fixes. I hope there's a lot of fixes coming up. 
Mm. Because there's still a lot of bugs. Mm. So we're in the hands of the hands of the end night gods. Yeah, pretty much. That's a Canadian company, right? I can't answer to that. I think they are. I'm pretty sure they're Canadian based. I End just night. play the game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just I need to know what country to go to if something goes wrong, that's all. I need Get to <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you, N9. <laughs> Joking. Or is Joking. He? Joking. For legal purposes, <laughs> that was a joke. Joke. Just in case. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> That's the word people use these days. Alleged. Allegedly. He allegedly murdered that woman even though we saw it. Yeah. But That's he's innocent and proved until proven guilty. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're rambling. We really need to yep. cut this, eh? Yep, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. And as always, if you could please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below, that would be fantastic. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.